Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So Senator Bernie Sanders makes one last push for his bill to be passed, which if it does pass, would increase benefits across the board for all social security beneficiaries by $2,400 per year. So we'll be covering that. Plus, Mitch McConnell responds to whether or not there should be term limits in the Senate after just serving 17 years as the leader of the GOP. But before we go ahead and dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Plus, if you would like to receive up to $10,000 in free stocks or $10,000 in free cash, in a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Moomoo Moo. All you have to do is once you click on that link is just sign up for a free account and then deposit at least $100. At that point, Moomoo Moo will be sending you at least five free stocks worth once again all the way up to $10,000. And once again, if you'd really just have the cash, all you have to do is once you receive those free stocks is just sell them for what they're worth and then transfer the cash value right back to your bank account. Okay, so diving right into our lead story of today's video, and of course, just a few days ago, Mitch McConnell said that he was going to be stepping down as the Republican leader in the Senate. So we're going to have a new leader, whether it's going to be a majority leader or a minority leader. He's no longer going to be leading the Republicans and whether or not he runs once again for the Senate in Kentucky. Who really knows? But of course, there's been some ideas floating around that, you know, perhaps uh, McConnell has been the leader of the GOP for, for such a long period of time. Perhaps we should start putting term limits on that role. And in response, well, let's go ahead and hear what Mitch McConnell has to say. So according to The Hill, Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell has dismissed a, quote, totally inappropriate an idea being floated by Senator John Cornyn and other GOP colleagues to place a term limit on his successor. McConnell, who has served more than 17 years as Senate GOP leader, noted that colleagues have an opportunity every two years before the start of a new Congress to elect a new leader. And he suggested it would put the Senate at a disadvantage to the House where the Speaker does not have a term limit. McConnell also pointed out that Senator Rick Scott tried to unseat him after the 2022 midterm election and lost in a 37 to 10 vote. He said, quote, well, we have term limits now. They're called elections. And I had a contest myself during my last election as leader, he said, deploying the classic rebuttal to arguments for term limits. He went on to say that, quote, I think the conference ought to be able to be free to choose whoever. There's no limit on the speaker or the other House leaders, he added, that won't be my decision to make, but I think that it's totally inappropriate. So McConnell does not believe that there should be term limits on who should be leader in the Senate. Now, you know, for me at least, I think maybe there should be some type of term limits for who should be able to serve in the House or uh, serve in the Senate. So for those senators who have been, you know, uh, in the Senate for this say like 20 plus years, should they be able to continue to serve or perhaps should be, there be term limits? Let me know your thoughts in comments below. Now, in some other news, of course, in the Senate and the House as well, there are some lawmakers who right now are suggesting because the Social Security Trust Fund is going to be going insolvent within the next eight to 10 years, which at that point, they would have to cut, uh, cut benefits across the board by anywhere between 20 to 25%. That one solution to that is to raise the retirement age. So right now it's at 67. They're proposing to raise the full retirement age up to that say like 69 or 70. And so we're going to be covering this article here by The Motley Fool and then going over one solution by Bernie Sanders, which I think a lot of you guys are going to like while he makes one last push to pass his bill by the end of this year. So according to The Motley Fool, one idea that's been gaining traction is to increase Social Security's full retirement age, which is the age at which seniors can claim their monthly benefits in full without a reduction. For workers born in 1960 or later, FRA is 67, but some lawmakers suggest increasing FRA to 68 or 69 so that Social Security has more time before it needs to pay out those benefits in full. It's an idea that could potentially prevent benefit cuts, but it's also an idea that might hurt workers in a very notable way. 
Here are some consequences that might ensue if FRA for Social Security is raised by a year or two. So the first consequence, of course, is that you may have to work longer. So it's possible to claim Social Security before reaching FRA. You can take benefits once you turn 62, but for each month you claim them ahead of FRA, they get reduced on a permanent basis. So of course, right now it is at 62. It is possible with this change that that age could get lifted up to that say like 64 or 65 while the FRA gets lifted from 67 up to 70. The second consequence is that you may have less opportunity to earn delayed retirement credits. So right now, seniors who postpone their social security claims past FRA get to accrue delayed retirement credits. Those credits boost benefits by 8% a year so that someone, someone with a FRA of 67 who files at 70 gets to snag a permanent 24% increase to their monthly social security checks. So if that gets lifted up to that, say like, you know, uh, if, if you can't claim social security until 70, then perhaps they won't give you the opportunity to wait until like 73 or 74, or perhaps at that point you might be not, you might not be in a situation where you can wait a few more years. So therefore you're gonna be receiving a lesser benefit if normally you would wait until the age of 70. And then finally, the third consequence is that you may be subject to an earnings test limit for longer. So right now you are allowed to work and collect social security at the same time. And once FRA arrives, you can earn any amount of money without risking having benefits withheld. However, the current rules dictate that social security recipients who have who work and have not reached FRA are subject to an earnings test limit. Earnings beyond that limit result in withheld social security income. If FRA is raised to help prevent social security cuts, workers could end up subject to an earnings test limit for longer. Now, of course, Bernie Sanders is one of the senators who is very against the idea of raising the full retirement age. Instead, he has another idea which would lift benefits by $2,400 per year and not uh, raise the full retirement age. Let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say in this recent interview. On Social Security, you know, it is set to become insolvent soon, and it seems like everyone understands that, but no one really wants to address it because of the political pitfalls. Well, what is the realistic way to handle it? Caitlin, it's not a political pitfall. The rich get richer. The rich have lobbyists all over Washington, D.C. Billionaires make enormous campaign contributions. And you know what their main issue is? Don't tax us. Hey, I'm only worth $8 billion. He's worth $10 billion. That's not fair. Don't tax me anymore. So the result of that is a taxi cab driver has an effective tax rate, which is higher than billionaires. So of course they don't want, this is a class issue. Of course the rich don't want to pay more in taxes. Most of them, there are some who are willing to do it. But you tell me if it makes any sense to you when we're struggling to make social security solvent, that you got billionaires who pay the same amount into the Social Security Trust Fund as somebody making 168000 Makes no sense. But, you know, you have people who work for the rich and not for their constituents, and that's why we are where we are. One idea we hear from Republicans, especially in the Republican primary race, was this idea of raising the retirement age. Brilliant idea. Yes, it is. Yes, we got people, 87-year-olds, packing groceries in a supermarket. You know, really? People have worked hard their whole lives. This is the richest country in the history of the world. Raise the retirement age, cut benefits. I don't think so. The alternative approach, which makes eminent sense to me and the vast majority of the American people, is demand that the people on top finally stop paying their fair share of taxes so we can expand benefits. Do not raise the retirement age. That is cruel. I mean, to tell people who worked like that woman in a factory, you know, for our whole life, that's got to work two or three more years. I don't think so. So let me know what your thoughts and comments are below on that. Now, Bernie Sanders did take to X. He said that Republicans want to raise the retirement age. I, for one, don't believe that 87-year-olds should be bagging groceries at the supermarket. I've got another idea. Force the people on top to pay their fair share in taxes so that we can expand benefits. Now, as far as his bill goes, it's called the Social Security Expansion Act. First off, it would extend the solvency of Social Security for 75 years. This would be by uh, forcing people to pay more taxes into the trust fund. It would also expand Social Security benefits across the board for current and new beneficiaries by $2,400 per year. And then finally, it would also increase the cost of living adjustments 
by switching it over to the CPIE, which historically has been just a little bit higher than the CPIW when you go by the average year by year basis. And once again, they will have until January 3rd of 2025 to pass this bill. January 3rd of next year is when the new Congress is going to be coming in. So that's when everything sort of resets itself. And if it does not pass by then, then Bernie Sanders is once again going to have to reintroduce this bill. And then of course, they'll have until January 3rd of 2027 to pass it. So we'll have to wait and see whether or not it gets enough momentum to be voted on and passed in both the House and the Senate. But that's all we have for today's video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you in the next video.